This study conducted at the University of Southern California in 1999 examined the effects of high-dose nandrolone decanoate on HIV-positive men. 30 participants received weekly injections of the anabolic steroid over 16 weeks, with doses peaking at 600 milligrams per week. The researchers aimed to determine if steroids could increase muscle mass in HIV patients. Maintaining muscle mass is crucial for this population as it strengthens the immune system and improves resistance to infections. Even small decreases in body weight can significantly impact health outcomes for those with HIV. Half of the participants also engaged in a weight training program three times per week. This included exercises targeting major muscle groups like bench press, leg press, and bicep curls. The other half did not exercise, allowing the researchers to compare the effects of steroids alone versus steroids combined with strength training. Results showed that nandrolone increased lean body mass in all participants. Those who also weight trained gained even more muscle mass, reaching 5.2 kilograms compared to 3.9 kilograms in the non-training group. Strength improvements were also more pronounced when steroids were combined with exercise. An interesting finding was that fewer men in the training group reported testicular shrinkage as a side effect. This suggests exercise may help mitigate some of the suppressive effects of steroids on natural hormone production. However, more research is needed to confirm this as testicular size was not directly measured. The study had some limitations. It did not track long-term effects after the steroid cycle ended. Many users report significant muscle loss post-cycle, so this information would have been valuable. Additionally, the researchers did not measure actual changes in testicular size, relying only on self-reported side effects. While this study provides useful data on high-dose steroid use, it's important to note the subjects were HIV-positive men under medical supervision. The risks and effects may differ for healthy individuals or those using steroids without medical oversight. Anyone considering steroid use should be aware of potential side effects and legal issues.